Hello, um, I'm Eric Reichenbach. Uh, I wanted to give some thoughts on Survivor 42 now that it's wrapped up. The finale was, I think, last week. Um, I already gave some thoughts on 42, I think, like a week before this, like two weeks in the past. Um, so I don't want to go over the entire my thoughts over the entire season because I just generally thought it was a, a good season. I just want to talk about basically about the topic of deserving um, because this comes up a lot online and especially in the off seasons you see uh, people on Survivor Reddit or Twitter um, a little bit on Instagram not as much um, but people debating about the idea of deserving like which winner was the most deserving do people deserve to get in the finals do people deserve to make it as far as they did and all kinds of stuff with with respect to Survivor with with the idea of deserving and I think this is one of the most frustrating topics I, I read about online because the idea of deserving makes it sound like people who played the game well um, don't deserve what place they got or don't deserve the wins that they secured. So I just want to talk about this aspect of Survivor um, as an example in... This is going to be a spoiler. I'm talking about the 42 finale, so you're going to get some spoilers in this. Um, Romeo won the final immunity challenge against Jonathan. And it was such a pairing of David versus Goliath because Romeo just hadn't won anything and he had been strategically on the bottom for a long time, um, just kind of hanging in there. And Jonathan's like this huge dude, this huge, strong, muscular dude. And Romeo beat him. And that's it's kind of comical in a way, but at the same time, it's a really important moment showing that anybody can any day can win any challenge and I immediately saw people online saying things like Romeo didn't deserve to be in the finals or you know Romeo didn't deserve to beat Jonathan in that challenge or you know Romeo should have been out at the merge and all kinds of all kinds of stuff about deserving with respect to Romeo and I've seen it the opposite too I've seen people commenting about Jonathan didn't deserve to be there or Marianne didn't deserve to win all kinds of people saying all kinds of things about who deserves what place, wins what challenge, etc. Okay, I've, I've set the table. What do I think? Deserving is ridiculous. The idea that you play a game with rules, and if somebody plays the game well within the boundaries of the rules, you you can't judge them after the fact with respect to deserving. They played the game well. You know, Romeo beat Jonathan in that challenge on that day, okay? He absolutely deserved to be in the finals and choose the things that he got to choose, like who made fire and who gets to sit next to him and all those other things. So the idea of deserving when you're playing a game is ridiculous to me, and it frustrates me to no end because it makes me think people don't understand that this is a game. Like, this is a... Like, if you... If you play Monopoly, as another example, you know, somebody does really well and they buy a bunch of property and they're now, you know, dominating the game, you know, you don't judge them harshly and say, like, they didn't deserve to win. Like, they played the game, like, really hard. They did what they were supposed to do. You know, they earned first place. So in my mind, any, any talks about deserving, like, this winner deserved to win more than this one or this person deserved this place, it's all this myth of meritocracy. It's all this misunderstanding about what the game of Survivor is. And I think people need to reassess that statement when they say that people deserve something in the game of Survivor. Um, like another example, you know, say somebody works their ass off for like 30 years, saving up money as much as they can. And then one day they have enough money to put a down payment on a house and now they're living in a mansion. Are you gonna say to that person, they don't deserve that house when they played the game and they put in the time and they put in the work or the same person who, you know, was gifted uh, like $100,000 from their parents or something because their parents are well off and they bought a house and they lived in it. Do they deserve a house? They don't, they don't deserve a house. No, they played the game. They had, they had obviously a, um, uh, what's the word? They had an incredible benefit. They kind of got a jump over the person who worked their butt off for 30 years, but they, it's not about deserving. Like it's about the game and the rules of the game. The game can be unfair. Like obviously the person who, you know, works their ass off for 30 years is going to look at the kid who just gets gifted a hundred thousand dollars and say that was unfair. That person had a huge advantage. 
So that's a whole other conversation about judging the fairness of a game. And I would love, that's a great debate for Survivor too. Like, is Survivor a fair game? Does Survivor have equality in it or equity in it? Or is it just like random chance like players get screwed? Um, that's a whole other conversation. For me, deserving though is not open to debate if people are playing a social strategic game and they're earning things by winning challenges. So, I don't know. That just drives me crazy. I really enjoy the finale. I think everyone earned the places they got, first, second, third. You know, I think that every season, everybody earned every place that they got. Um, I just, if you think I'm wrong, tell me why. You know, comment, say, Eric, you're way off base. There's more to deserving than simply saying, you know, whatever it is that I have to say here. If you think I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me why though, explain it. I would love to hear your thoughts on this because people have <laughs> argued and debated with me about deserving before um, on Survivor Reddit. Um, but anyway, those are my thoughts. I enjoyed the finale. The finale was awesome. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next season. I'll see you guys at 43. All right, bye.